Welcome back as we continue in the subject of mega ohm meters by demonstrating the typical usage of an electronic type meter. With the leads connected, a reading of zero should be obtained to ensure that the meter and the leads are in good order. In the practical demonstration, we shall establish the continuity of windings on this three-phase motor and then perform an insulation test between windings using a typical electronic meter. On a six-pin terminal block, it is first necessary to establish the termination of each winding end. This is done with the meter set to ohms position. Clip one test lead to the top left terminal and probe the other terminals until a reading is obtained. Make a sketch and note the positions as A1 and A2. Clip to the next terminal, which we'll call B1, and then find its end with the ohmmeter. Now clip to the last terminal, C1, and check that it is continuous with the remaining terminal, C2. To check that insulation between windings is in order, we perform an insulation test by connecting between the unrelated terminals, beginning with A1 to B1. Select the mega ohm scale and simply press the button. Take note of the reading. Repeat this test between all unrelated terminals and note down the readings. Readings should all be in accordance with standard regulations. Obviously, both motorized and electronic meters can be employed to measure resistances and test insulation in all situations. An advantage of the motorized type is that there is no need for a battery in order to generate the high voltage. After the break, we shall discuss care and safety with megameters.